we are finally going to finish <coughs> Annie. Got one more hour left. We ended in act two. And then we are going to finish through act two because this needs, to, this needds to be done before I go down for my nap before I work. Because I get to work three to eleven tonight. Uh, and I, only, I only worked seven from seven to eleven last night and I about fell asleep at the computer. But we are watching Annie. Act two, starting on 10507, if you want to try to follow along. And we are starting now. Remember what, what all happened last? Well, I know that they were like about a, to like do a, like pod a, like, a, like up until like up until this point. I remember most of the details. I, 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 I go I'm, to get Annie. That's what I'm always remembering feels. like nothing but a I'll delicious crumb. Just delicious crumb is like gallons and gallons of pocket. Or something like that. But he's made those funny noises. Ah, Chris. I guess kind of see him, seeing him as Annie now, I can't really imagine Joe Walker doing it. I guess it's the, it as, okay, I'm starting now. It's almost like a little bike It's like a big up for a kind of musical. Hey, musical did you background. hear Annie's racing again? No way. Yeah, he's training down in Beggar's Canyon. Hey, let's check it out. All right. Outfits like selling. Of course not. There's a standard issue Imperial training here. We look cool. Now keep up, Annie. Please. We'll try. We've been a good gun. Go on without me. What do they got to run for pod Drown racing? Just getting started. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Yes, you do. Oh, I just feel that moisture. Woo! What a day, huh, Annie? 
You showed some real improvement out there. Ah, thanks, Starkey. Hey, here's a joke for you. What do you do with a dog from Endor? Take him for an Ewok. <laughs> I get that one. That one's cute, Annie. See, I'm getting better. Hello, boyos. Boy, JJ, if you're a pal, give my back a quick rub down, would you? Sure. So, Dorky, you and Emily, what's going on there? Nothing. See, it was Emily. I really didn't think she likes me at all. Dorky, if that girl looks, she'd see half what I can see. Then she sees a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> you should be listening to Annie. He's got the bone skills with the ladies. Moin, moin. Really? Yes. Yeah, JJ, tell them about my old lady, Padme. Oh, so a Padme, fine. Yes, I might even be saying she be looking like a uh, Natalie Portman. No. <laughs> Your wife looked like Natalie Portman, the Some actress? Person. Oh, yeah. Yes. Dead ringer. Seriously, so, so, she was the most beautiful creature. Hot little Jewish girl from the booth. Ooh, you got lucky, man. Hey, luck had nothing to do with it. I had a secret weapon. A secret that I now pass on to you. Torky, when I first left you, I was but a learner, but now I am the messed up. Just let me get it out of my locker. Here you go. The solution all your romantic needs. Give it a read. What are these? Some of my old lines. Best stuff I ever said. All right, let's see here. I'm haunted by the kiss that you never should have given me. Thank God. <laughs> my heart is beating, hoping that that kiss will not become a scar. <laughs> Annie, is this one of your jokes? Oh, you fellows are playing a prank on me. These lines I are so bad it's funny. What are you talking about? <laughs> The stuff's gold. Gold? I wish I could just wish away my feelings. What's great about that line is the repetition of the word wish. <laughs> so it's like poetry, it rhymes. There is absolutely no way that you actually said these things. That is literally a transcript where I said to pad me in front of a fireplace on the boo. <laughs> you know what happened the next day? I married that girl. <laughs> really? So you're saying that... You're saying that these lines actually work? Oh, trust me, Darky, the dames love it. Also, when you're saying these lines, it helps if you cry. Does your voice get any whinier? Like you could say something like, Now that I'm with you, I'm in agony. Yeah. Ooh. Really lay it on thick, make her feel guilty. And if all else fails, slaughter a village of sand people. Oh. <laughs> Quickest way to a woman's heart. Well, I guess I've been doing it wrong all these days. Some of these things I hey, get. take her out for a drink? And, and I'll get a little hole in the wall called the cantina. Just a warning, they don't serve droids. All right, fellas. I'll give it a shot, eh? Oh, there you go. All right, everyone hands in on three. One, One two, two, three. Hit the nose! <laughs> I got some of those things. I know. It's room here. Oh. I saw the red cup and I thought. This must be the place. All right, Mara. What the heck? Here. You can do this. You just gotta knock on the door. Oh, oh. I'm going to be a slave girl. Yeah, girl. yeah, yeah right. no. I'm, I'm scared. You want a wonga? I recognize Hi. that. Hi, I'm Mara Jade. Oh, yeah. I'm here to audition for the I dancing he, slave girl position. Yeah. He's for Shaba. Yeah. The, the guy, he's like the... I take it to Shaba now. Oh, thank you. Come in. Come in. <laughs> Come and wait with the other applicants. Wait, wait, other applicants? <laughs> She's so good. I've been a slave dancer for like going on like, I don't know, like 13 years now. <laughs> I've done Yavins one, two, three, pretty much all the Yavins. Where have you slaved? Well, I'm over at Geonosis right now. But I'm looking for a change. The people there just bug me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, why are you laughing? Oh, I, I don't know. Well, do you even get the joke? No, ma'am. See, she said that the people over there bug her, and it's funny because the people who live on Geonosis are bug people. <laughs> See, it's like a humorous plan words, and that's where the comedy comes in, okay? okay. So anyway, I hear it's pretty tough to get enslaved by Jabba, but I'm like, you know, I got this. You know what I'm saying, boys? <laughs> Meredith. You want to buy me a drink later? 
You guys all of you? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> See you then. Anyway, honey, your nipple's hanging out. <laughs> Like, sometimes I Sorry, see the bikini doesn't come in my size. For like a couple years, and it's like I just want to be like, hey, girl, why don't you take that twerking or whatever it is you call it over to Gardella the Hut? You know, honey, this is never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does she remind me of? Okay. <laughs> now, before you audition for Java, you gotta fill out this application. All right. Now, when you fill out this application, be sure to list all the past places that you were previously enslaved. Starting with the most recent place of enslavement. Oh, I, I don't got any of that. <gasps> what? So <laughs> 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 that I have bikinis. Do you got any references? No, ma'am. See, I ain't <coughs> never been no slave before. So. I'm a bounty hunter. <laughs> she never been a slave. <laughs> <laughs> <And> she <laughs> did <laughs> <one. laughs> Burgundy. This is it. It's like a brownish a cantina. Oh. <laughs> you don't think I'm maybe like a yeah. little overdressed for this place? Oh no, you're beautiful. I mean, you're dressed beautiful, beautifully. <laughs> Bartender, check please. I mean, <laughs> could we have a seat? Oh dear. <laughs> sure, pal. Here you go. Right. And uh, hey, how about a bit of friendly advice? Just relax and be yourself. It's enough. Uh, 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 hey, 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 you just came in here, but I think you've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough. You'll tell me when you've had enough. <laughs> Is that Obi-Wan? Hey, I'll tell you when I've had enough. Hey, 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 you guys want to see something funny? Watch this. Come here. My dick is a surfboard. Oh my god. <laughs> that man's dick. It's a surfboard! Well, what can I get for you, Mr. Surfboard Dick? Well, uh, I'll start with one of everything, and then we'll go from there. Uh, uh, oh, is that old guy all right? Oh, oh, um. Excuse me, sir, is everything okay? It's as if a million voices suddenly cried out in terror, and then was suddenly silenced. I have the worst hangover in history. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm better now. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that guy really puts him back, huh? Well, you have to learn to consume this much alcohol if you are to learn the ways of the Force. Become a Jedi like me. You're a Jedi? But I thought all of the Jedi were wiped out, except for... Say, do you happen to know an Obi-Wan Kenobi? Of course I know him. He's me. <laughs> I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't have to tell you guys that. Let me start again. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I'm a proud graduate of Alcoholics Anonymous, <laughs> and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, um, Moff Jeffrey Tarkin. Uh, Moff? Who's Moff? Her huh, Moff? No, 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 no. Moff, it's a title, a, a rank. Uh, Moff Tarkin. Oh, well, it's very good to meet you, Jeffrey. I like you very much. Mm. I'm Obi-Wan. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Yes, I knew that. Kind of oh, good. Well, title quit talking all the month uh -huh. and let's have a drink, shall we? I hope you don't mind Only if I sit same. between you. Uh, actually, sir. No, no, you... not at all. You know, to be honest, I'm a little bit of a history buff. Oh, that's and funny. I've so always I. wanted to meet a Clone Wars survivor. You I'm... know, the whole thing is just so shrouded in mystery. It is a bit mysterious, isn't no, it? No, no, no. You guys are making it sound more complicated than it was. Let me set the record straight. The Clone Wars began when my friend Qui-Gon and I went to the planet of Naboo. 
to settle a trade dispute that had broken out between the Trade Federation and the planet, you see. The Federation had put a blockade around the system so that they could... Uh... <laughs> oh. uh, uh, I'm sorry. I fell asleep because that was so boring. <laughs> No wonder I fell asleep. Uh, where was I? You and your friend Qui Gon were yes, doing yes, something. Yes, yes, Qui Gon, Qui Gon. Mm. He was my master, you see. Mm. Or was Yoda my master? <laughs> my memory is flexible. You see, only a Sith deals in absolutes. Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense at all. I, what? on the other hand, deal in absolute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So there I was. I was a Padawan learner, and I had my long hair and my little braid. You see, I was kind of like a hippie guy. Uh, yes, uh, excuse me, sir. I, I hate to interrupt, but do you see how your last statement doesn't make any sense at all? For if only a Sith deals in absolutes, well, then that in itself is an absolute. Do you see how you inadvertently called yourself a Sith, there, old boy? <laughs> that muff just blew my mind, man. <laughs> anyway, back to the Clone Wars. Why were they called that? When did the clones show up? Well, the Separatists, who we were fighting, had robots. And we, the Republic, had clones because the leader of the Separatists, who was a Sith Lord, made them for us. But how could we have known that those clones would remain loyal to that Sith Lord? We didn't see that one coming. <laughs> you didn't even suspect foul play? Well, our vision was clouded, and we were very stupid. <laughs> but to our credit, we were being tricked. You see, both the Republic and the Separatists were secretly being controlled by the Emperor. He was fighting a war against himself for control of a galaxy that he already had control of. <laughs> What I've never understood is why would the Jedi, who are supposedly the protectorate of the peace, plunge the galaxy into a war? We declared war in the name of peace. Right? <laughs> we couldn't just let the Sith run everything. They're a group of religious zealots who want to impose their will on everyone else, and that's the Jedi's job. <laughs> We're the light side, they're the dark side. They believe in love, we forbid it. <laughs> don't you see, don't you see that there has to be a balance, a harmony between light and the dark side. And to create that harmony, we wanted to wipe out the dark side. And then all of a sudden, two Sith come along and they kill all but two Jedis. That's not balance. Yes, it is. <laughs> You know, speaking with you has confirmed everything that Annie ever told me about the Jedi. You guys are a bunch of knuckleheads. <laughs> well, you can tell that Annie that she can go <laughs> and get her gun. <laughs> wow! Because she has insulted my religion, and now I will kill her with my sword. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Annie, Annie, as in your old apprentice. Do you remember Annie? Yes. I loved him like a brother. So I cut him in half. <laughs> and I put him in a volcano. <laughs> oh. Well, he's better now. Why? Yes, why, in fact, he's racing in this year's Boonta Eve. You should come by sometime and say hello. Perhaps you two can bury the old hatchet there, hmm? Oh, pardon me. I'm being invited to a FaceTime. <laughs> oh, that's not good. What is it? It's the Emperor. I think I'm in trouble. Uh, Emily? I need to take this. Well, I, I can't miss this. <laughs> well, it's...
it's like, God damn it, right? <laughs> it's like you, you think you kill a guy, and then he shows up as a goddamn robot. <laughs> And this is the second bloody time this has happened to me. <laughs> First God, Maul, and now Annie. Uh, what is the world coming to? I tell you what. Well, I guess I'll just have to finish the job. Come here, my little friend. <sighs> to battle a trick you. Yes. It appears that you and I have a common enemy. What do you say to the two of us joining forces? Ah, uh, cheaper than that. Yes, pole racing is a dangerous sport. Especially for a man of Annie's age. And especially if he doesn't have his pit crew there to help him. So what do you say, I take care of the pit crew, and you make sure that Annie doesn't finish the race? <laughs> Yeah, sabotage his paws if you have to. I don't care. Just kill him. She but in the tongue. Yes. I like you, Quidoba. <laughs> I like you because you are an animal, and I like animals. You remind me of my friend Yodra. Yodra is a green animal who lives in the swamp. <laughs> You'd like him. He's cute. And now, let's have a drink to our fiendish union of the light side! This <laughs> <laughs> is so twisted. Or wicked. Or any of those stories. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, hello, Peppy. Jeffrey, I finished that Lego set I was working on. You must be so proud of yourself, sir. Well, I didn't do it all by myself. I had some help. From whom, uh, may I ask? Hello, Jeffrey. This? Yes, and he's also filled me in on all of this pod racing business, huh? Unlike you, I have half a mind to make this guy my grand boss. I'm terribly sorry, Jeffrey, old boy, but you see, opportunity only knocks once. I would have expected this from Nida, but not you, Viz. Nida. I'm sick of hearing the name Captain Nida. From now on, this galaxy will know the name of General Veers. Thank you, Captain Nida. Damn it. <laughs> so anyway, Tarkin, I want you to bring Annie home right now, okay? Enough messing around, oh, right? Sir, pardon me, but Annie's put so much effort in, into this already. Why, it's the happiest I've seen him in years. You wouldn't just take that away from him now, would you? Pod racing is stupid. No apprentice of mine is going to be out pod racing. I need Annie back here to help me run this battle station. Well, if that's the only reason that you need him, perhaps I oughtn't bring him back at all, sir. Jeffrey, you will follow orders. Yes, sir. I will follow orders. But not your orders. <gasps> I will follow the orders of my heart. That's something that Annie taught me. And I can't believe that you, knowing how Annie loves pod racing oh so very much, won't even support him in that. What sort of a peppy are you? That's it, Jeffrey. You can kiss that promotion goodbye. and you can stick it in your dark side, sir. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Talking out. Jeffrey, don't you hang up on me. I. <laughs> Whoa. You just hung up on the Emperor. Yep. <laughs> think you'll lose your job? I think I lost it. Yep. <laughs> well, good night. Uh, Jeffrey, wait. Yes. 
That was pretty cool what you did back there. Standing up for a friend like that? Really? Yeah, I, I didn't know oh, you had no. it in you. <laughs> I, feel like we well, I think you'll find I'm full of surprises. <laughs> oh. oh, no, ew, is that like a pickup line or something? No, sorry, <laughs> terribly sorry. I'm just going to head back to the ship to in for the night. <laughs> Emily, wait! Oh, no. Yeah? From the moment I met you, all those years ago, not a day has gone by that I haven't thought of you. Oh. Really? <laughs> and... <laughs> now that I'm with you, I'm an agony. I had no idea. <laughs> the thought of not being with you, I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm haunted by the kiss that you never should have given me. <laughs> we never kissed. Wait, did we? <laughs> My heart is beating, hoping that that kiss will not become a scar. <laughs> like it's working. Jeffrey Tarkin, you are a poet. <laughs> Like this, you just seem so pathetic. I am, I am. You're in my very soul, tormenting me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel so guilty. <laughs> if you are suffering as much as I am, please tell me. I think I am. Oh my goodness. Jeffrey, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think we should get married <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs>
Thanks tomorrow already. All he had to do was talk back to the emperor and, and use all those lines and he gave him. <laughs> so I'm talking to a couple of friends of mine. I say, you know that party we're having on Friday? Well, I was thinking about inviting a destroyer droid. They say, don't do it. I say, why not? He'll be a ball. <laughs> because a destroyer droid be rolling oh. in a ball and he's going to be a ball. He's a player on <laughs> okay, Exactly. You so ready for the race tomorrow, Lord Vader? The Lord Vader isn't. But any is. You said scared? Well, yeah, I'm so scared. I'm so very, very scared. <laughs> well, some bump bad. Hmm. I'm feeling alive, you know? Yeah. Hey, thanks for everything, JJ. Oh, thank you, Annie. You so clean today? Yeah, I'm so clean. One day at a time. That's all we can do. Yep. One day at a time. See you on the track. Okay, day. See you tomorrow, Annie. <laughs> Annie is my friend, and I love him. Good evening, Mr. Binks. <gasps> Opie Kenobi is another friend! Yay! Oh, yippee! Oh, <laughs> is that what you think we are, JJ? Boyers, bosom companions, friends? Well, that's what they speak! The ability to speak does not make one intelligent. Do you know what I said to Qui-Gon the day that we found you on the boo? I said, you leave that rabbit duck where you found him. And he said to me, this Gungan may be of help. But he was wrong. Wasn't he, Mr. Binks? No. And now I have one final question for you. Is it duck season? Or rabbit season? <laughs> Money. I, I don't have any money, Obi. You're so sure you should check in your pockets? I check my pockets, Obi, please! Okay, okay. Now do me a favor, JJ. And once I've killed you, don't come back as a goddamn robot. Please, no! The doctor droid says it's not looking good. Oh, I rushed over as soon as I heard. What's going on? Something happened to JJ. Did he hurt himself? I never should have left him alone. Annie, this is not your fault. JJ's been shot. Shot? Yes. By who? We don't know. He's not making much sense in there. Well, I want to see him. No, Annie, you'd, be you'd better not go back there. No, Annie! Annie! Wait, Annie. Oh, JJ, I'm here. Ah, you said thinking JJ gonna die? Of course not. Uh, You'll be okay, day. Monsters out there, leaking in here, all sinking and no power. When you said thinking JJ gonna be in trouble? JJ, this is all my fault. I never should have dragged you into this mess. If only I could stop people from dying. Uh, better dead here than dead in the core. Oh, no, JJ, please don't go. Uh, JJ, please don't go. Sorry, Annie. Nisa, gone. Oh. JJ? JJ! Now we're killing after an hour. Like, oh, it's not. I bet no one dies. I never thought they would.
Annie. Annie, what are you doing out here? Where are you going? I'm going back to the Death Star. Fun's over. What? What about the race? Well, forget the race. It was a dumb idea to begin with, and now it's got J.J. killed. What are you talking about? Well, somebody obviously doesn't want me to compete. That's why I killed my pit crew. That's the only explanation for what's going on here. That's not necessarily true. Everyone hated J.J. <laughs> and a lot of them wanted to see him dead. But the only thing that he wanted to see was you racing again. If you don't compete, you'll be letting him down. Why, you'll be letting yourself down. I'll be saving us all the embarrassment. Who is I kidding? I can't beat these CGI cartoons at a computer graphic race. It's their turf. <laughs> I'm throwing in the towel. In a moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. No! <laughs> you overestimate my chances! I got a confession to make, Torky. I knew I didn't stand a chance. And I got another confession to make. I don't even think I'm the personnel supervisor aboard the Death Star. Oh, Annie, you're not. I already knew that. Well, I did it! Because I've been lying to myself all these years. Trying to convince myself that I was worth something. Something! But I'm not. You know, Annie... When you get behind the thrusters of a pod, you have a power that I don't understand, that I could never understand. That's something special, Anakin. Why? It's one in a million. But the way that you're talking right now, you sound like a big, old, Chancellor Valorum. Who? <laughs> Come on, Annie, don't you know dick about Star Wars? <laughs> Chancellor Valorum. He was the Chancellor before Pappy. And he was removed from office with a vote of... no confidence. <laughs> You son of a bitch, Tarky. You got me. That was my Star Wars joke. What did you think of it? I thought it was a bit too obscure and hard to follow. <laughs> It'll also help you throw in a humorous play on words, you see. That's where the comedy comes at. Yo, Annie! Word on the street is somebody shot my boy JJ, and you need a new pit crew. Bob? What did I tell you, Annie? You call me! <laughs> Come on, gang! Hey, Annie! <laughs> Laura, what are you doing here? I figured you'd be dancing a little hard out to the tunes of the Max Rebolt band by now. Who? Uh -oh. The little blue elephant in Jabba's palace? Come on, guys! <laughs> oh, Annie, I don't think that that whole slave dancing thing's gonna work out for me. What about your dream? I got another dream. And it's to be at the next food to Eve and to see Annie Skywalker pull up to the starting line. Will you help me with it? Yeah, Annie. What do you say, pal? What do you think, Annie? Oh, a teeny. <laughs> well, I don't know. Saboba's pretty tough, not to mention Quadranero. Plus, my pod can still some fix up. And then, sure! Literally! <laughs> Gentlemen, cats and dogs, hogs and frogs, and the man with two heads. That's right, Tom. We're here at the pod racing event of the year, the Boon to Eat Classic. That's right, Tom. And everyone's looking forward to the grudge match between the pod racing champ, Saboba, and the XXX former champ, Annie. Personally, I've got no money on this way past his prime racer, but hey, I've been wrong before. In fact, one of my heads always tells the truth, and one of us always lies. That's right, Tom. <laughs> Sure. All right, Annie, she's ready to fly. Now, Annie, be careful in the Arch Canyon. You're going to have to maneuver the Whip, Jag Crag Gorge, and Laguna Cave. And remember, when you're routing Canyon Dune, look out for the sand people, okay? And not to worry, you two. I know this course like the back of my hand. 
Let's go with it one more time. Eh? And he got no sucker which no power to deny. <laughs> <laughs> Circle. And Dorky, yes. one more thing. What is it? Help me take this mask off. Don't you need it to breathe? No. <laughs> oh. Whatever gave you that idea? I don't. <laughs> I assumed, I guess. I just want to say thanks with my own face. All right. you go out there and teach them that the last thing to age is the heart. Can you feel it in the air floating around us everywhere? <laughs> Can't believe Dylan missed that. Can you believe it now that you're here? JJ. I just couldn't do it. Ghost of JJ? There it is! You know, <gasps> no. this reminds me of the time that I found you on Mustafa. Pappy? There you were. 
cut in half, on fire, <laughs> waiting for your old pappy to come and take you home. I miss those days. You don't need me anymore. That's not true, Pappy. Annie, I just thought that the Death Star was something that we could do together. But if you wanted the pod race so bad, why didn't you just ask? Because you hate pod racing. Annie, believe it or not, I was young once too. And I had a dream. A crazy dream. To build a gigantic boob in outer space <laughs> that could destroy planets with its galactic milk. And this was back even before I was a, a senator, even. When I was just a lowly community organizer <laughs> with 300 Republic credits to my name and a bachelor's in poetry. <laughs> Those space boobs seemed so far away back then. But I worked hard. And I trained to become a Sith. And I plunged the galaxy into civil war. And now those boobies are so close, I could touch them. <laughs> so I know what it's like to reach for the stars. Or the yabos, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but I guess, in pursuit of my dream, I forgot to believe in yours. And for that, Annie, I'm sorry. It's okay, Pappy. I did what I came here to do. I raced. I just wish I could have gone the distance, you know? Annie, let me tell you something about the Sith. We are the only guys who deal in absolutes. And we absolutely do not take no for an answer pappy my pod's busted all the power's been drained well then it sounds to me like what you need is a supercharge <laughs> annie get in that pod and here we go <laughs> Now go, Annie, go! And remember, try spinning! That's a good trick! Well, it appears that our, all of our other racers are dead, which makes the outcome of this race a foregone conclusion. And here he comes now, the undisputed pod racing champ of the galaxy, Subalba, making his way through the hut flats, taking his time, enjoying the scenery. And why wouldn't he? There's absolutely no one who could possibly stop him now. One more day. And one more day. Folks, our cameras are trying to pick something up, but it's moving just too gosh darn fast. We can't get a focus on it. Did you see that? Wait, could it be? I, I think it is. It's, it's.
cheated. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll move on to plan B. I'll raise Annie's son in ignorance and I'll trick him into killing his own father. <laughs> and if I can't deceive the boy, there's always sister. Oh, let it go, old friend. Oh, Qui Gon, there you are. Ah. I thought you were dead. Ah, I am. I'm a ghost. Oh. Car for a drink. Always. <laughs> I call this one a Qui Gon Jen. <laughs> and tonic. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. Uh, hey. 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 <laughs> I can't get it. It's all blue and see-through like you. <laughs> Sorry, friend, but booze are for ghosts. <laughs> you see what I did there? Boo, it's the sound a ghost makes. And booze is a word for an alcoholic beverage. It's a humorous play on words. And that's where the comedy comes in. <laughs> no! I want a drink. I want to drink a drink. Oh, well. Strike me down now. And I will become more powerful than you could possibly match. I get it. Hi, Marl. Listen up. Job can be a little intimidating. See, if you start to get nervous, just picture him naked. Okay. That's a joke, kid. He's always naked. <laughs> He'll see. Get to relax, it'll be great. Yo, Annie Mara. Hey, Bob. Thanks for getting me this audition. No, no sweat. I whisper in Jabba's ear, and you get an audition the same day. When Bob says something, you know it's for real. Shh. Isn't that Gerald Moses? Hey, kid. Knock him dead. Ooh. Okay, Java. Okay, we got one last audition to see today. No, Chiba Jedi. Java says, whenever you're ready.
boy coming at you. Starkin musical, but it definitely had its moments in there. Mm. Gosh. Dylan's too busy with relationships. Who needs that, right? Oh, dang it, I'm out. What more can I say about it? I mean, had its funny moments. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I was happy. I, I was I was proud of myself when I got some of those references, like the, with the killing of killing of the sand people. Sand people. <laughs> when he started saying those lines to her, though, that was so funny. Guess I better sign off before I make. A fool of myself. <laughs> I guess Dylan sort of already said goodbye. So, goodbye. so if I can make it this last twenty more seconds, it'll be in exactly an hour. Mm. Um, I did try watching the first Star Wars movies, but I fell asleep. All right, and bye.